Please read and follow all instructions included with the kit. Be sure that your propane appliance is disconnected from any fuel source while installing the kit. If you're unsure or unaware of safe propane gas and propane appliance use and assembly, do not proceed. Remove the burner control knob. Next, remove the hex nut from the gas control valve stem. Now, with the grill on its side, remove the two Phillips screws that secure the plastic support bracket to the frame arm and gas control valve. This will allow you to remove the plastic support bracket, gas control valve, and regulator with attached metal support bracket from the grill. Keep these parts nearby as you will need them again soon. Next, using a bench vise or a pair of channel lock pliers, secure the gas control valve and unscrew the regulator from the gas control valve. You should be able to do this by hand. Next, thoroughly clean the exposed male threads of the gas control valve. Now, apply some of the pipe joint compound supplied in the conversion kit to the clean, exposed male threads of the gas control valve. With the gas control valve secured in a vise or with channel lock pliers, screw the brass feed tube supplied in the conversion kit onto the male threads of the gas control valve. Tighten securely. Remember, you will need to test this union for leaks prior to using your Weber Q. Next, insert the gas control valve back into the plastic support bracket and reattach the hex nut to secure the bracket to the gas control valve. Be sure the gas control valve is lined up correctly with the bracket. The flat portion of the gas control valve stem should be facing up in approximately the one o'clock position. Insert the fuel control valve with attached brass feed tube and plastic support bracket back into the fuel intake tube on the grill. Using the same two Phillips screws you removed from the plastic support bracket, now reattach the plastic support bracket, feed tube, and gas control valve assembly to the frame arm. Next, remove the regulator from the metal support bracket by removing the two screws on the back of the metal support bracket. Now, with the grill flipped onto its other side, insert the angled tab portion of the metal support bracket back into the frame arm in the space between the two circular shapes located on the inside of the right-hand side frame arm. Next, install the blue torgy clamp over the brass feed tube and secure it to the metal support bracket from the back side of the bracket with the two screws provided in the kit. Do not completely tighten these screws. You will need to be able to slide the clamp on the feed tube as you position it securely in place. Next, with the grill in the upright position, slide the torgic clamp on the brass feed tube into position, making sure that the metal support bracket is fitting properly in and against the plastic frame arm. Finish tightening the two screws on the back of the torgic clamp. If you purchased the Q2 Plus version of this kit, you will not need to do the following step. Using two wrenches, one on the gas feed tube hex and the other on the female nut located on the end of the supplied hose, attach the female end of the hose to the male fitting on the end of the brass gas feed tube. Do not use pipe joint compound or tape on this union. Tighten securely. Remember, you will need to check this connection for leaks before using your Weber Q. Next, install the fuel control knob back onto the brass gas control stem. Now. Connect the male quick connect end of the hose to your RV's female quick connect and finish the installation by performing the safety leak check as described in the instructions that came with your kit. 